On Monday, December 20th, I rented a car and drove in frigid, single-digit, snowy weather to Holyoke Community College for our first post-election gathering of our Springfield Western Massachusetts affiliate. That was in 2004. Joe McCoy, the leader of this group, greeted me as I walked into the room in the early evening. There were about 15 people there. Joe, a veterinarian who worked in a lab in Springfield, had met his husband Stan on an online dating site three years before. Um, it's respectable. Um, <laughs> Christian Mingle. <laughs> They married the first Saturday it was legal at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Northampton. When Joe thought about how far he'd come as a political activist, he was amazed. Before the marriage fight, he was an infrequent voter. That changed when some of his friends invited the couple to drive to Boston for one of the constitutional conventions. The moment Joe got to the State House and witnessed the intensity of the fight, he was hooked. He'd spent the fall volunteering for a state representative candidate in far western Massachusetts. That was Dennis Geyer from Dalton, um, trekking an hour plus each way on multiple occasions. Now he was looking to us for the next steps. And, um, on September 14, 2005, at 1.04 p.m., Senate President Robert Travellini gaveled the Constitutional Convention into session. Um, then down a little bit. Senator Brian Lees, the Republican leader of the Senate and co-author of the amendment, spoke first. I've received over 7,000 letters, emails, and phone calls from people, he said. The majority of people have asked me to vote against the proposal. <coughs> Joe McCoy, the head of the Western Massachusetts affiliate, who was watching on the big screen TV in the Great Hall with his husband Stan, was pinching himself. Their group had gone to event after event, festival after <coughs> festival, and door to door collecting postcards for Senator Lees. Now here he was talking about their work. Quote, gay marriage has begun and life has not changed for the citizens of the Commonwealth, with the exception of those who can marry who could not before. That's why I would vote no today on this amendment. The crowd of several hundred people gathered in the Great Hall were ecstatic, hugging and cheering, and when Senator Lees came in to greet everyone soon after his speech, people greeted him as if he were a rock star. Mm -hmm. So that's the work that we did together. And I'd say, if you really were to ask me, like, okay, what's the real reason you wrote this book? I wanted to show that the work of civil rights and the work of equality is hard work. 